Martin Lappin here of Alternative Heating Solutions. And we're going to call this uh, Troubleshooting 102. Verifying that it's actually gassing. And if you're a first time owner of a gasification boiler, it can be difficult sometimes to really tell what you got going on. And somebody that's driving by sees that, they're thinking it's smoke. It's not. You can see doesn't form till it's out of the stack and here's the perfect right here it just dipped down I'm actually stood in a little bit of that and there's very little to no smell to it whatsoever if that was actually smoke of course it's gonna smell like smoke and what that is warm air comes out and the moisture it's in it condenses just like what would come out of your uh, say if you had LP or natural gas furnace I mean, it's not smoke coming out of that vent pipe it's moisture and even if you're burning let's say 20% moisture wood and you put it 100 pounds in you actually only put in 80 pounds of wood and you put in 20 pounds of water yeah oh, the winds shifted now you, I'm standing right in it doesn't smell like anything there's just a slight odor to it it's it's difficult to describe but it's definitely not smoke and back to the moisture content here so if you say you're burning 30 percent you put in 70 pounds of wood and 30 pounds of water or just under a touch of four gallons so watch your stack for starters uh, we'll get into this a little further when this shuts down and cools off a little bit. So we kind of covered what it takes to tell the difference between steam and smoke. And if you absolutely have to, and the wind's not cooperating, just grab a step ladder and stick your nose in it. If it's smoke, you'll know it. And the other thing you can do is several times after you're up and running, inspect the lower chamber. You should never see anything that even begins to look like tar or creosote building up. It's nothing but that dry, powdery, fine ash. And you can see it's just powder. If it looks wet or if it's sticky, you need to examine your either moisture content, split size, um, your technique and placing the wood in the boiler. Uh, the other thing you need to, or you can check, come to the back, pull the panel. Again, you should never find anything back here that looks like creosote. If you do, it's because it's not gassing all the time, or at all. If you let it go, you're gonna have issues. And you can see all that. nothing but fly ash on them if you got any tar starting to build up you're going to have issues again you need to uh, double check your moisture content split size etc this has been martin lapman of alternative heating solutions if you find our videos the least bit helpful or informative please subscribe to our channel and as always if the women don't find you handsome at least they can find you handy